and Joey Super Cool Food Reviews. Ah, Today, muchachos, I'm at Arby's. I'm doing their new traditional Greek gyro or gyro or gyro or hero or y y gyro. I don't know. I'm not Greek. Who knows how to how do you say gyro or gyro? I don't get it. I'm not Greek. Mm. Anyways, so they have their new traditional. Instead of using like the roast beef or turkey, they're using traditional lamb. So, which is kind of neat with your tzatziki sauce. I don't know how even how to say that one either. I think that's like chickpeas ground up into like a little sauce. I don't know. I'm not Greek. <laughs> anyway, so check this out. Okay, YouTubers. Having offered gyros with both non-traditional meats such as roast beef and turkey, Arby's now uh, goes back to the sandwich roots by offering the new traditional Greek uh, gyro, gyro. I don't know how to say it. I'm not Greek. Anyway, so the new gyro or gyro or gyro features a blend of ground beef, ground lamb, and Mediterranean spices uh, sliced from a spit rotisserie. And the slices are placed in a warm flatbread along with uh, some lettuce and tomatoes, red onion, and such a cheeky saucy and Greek seasoning. So um, Arby sells like 27 million gyros or gyros or heroes a year and hopes to sell even more with this limited edition of the traditional Greek gyro or gyro. I don't know, I'm not Greek. Anyways, this is the new one from Arby's. Beep, 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 beep. So what do you think about that new gyros? It's like six buckaroos and change. And basically a gyro or gyro or hero or who knows, I'm not Greek. Um, it's basically a Greek taco. You know, it's in a pita, like you saw. And um, anyways, but uh, oh, I I don't mean to regress or, or be weird, but I saw that movie Chips. I don't know what brought me gyro and chips. Anyways, <laughs> it's a pretty good movie. Check it out at Muchachos, check it out. Anyway, so yeah, so this is the new gyro using traditional um, uh, meat from um, um, lamb. Greeks love lamb. Um, you know, you don't eat meat. That's okay, I make you lamb. Anyway, so um, yeah, so this is good stuff. Um, traditional, which is nice that Arby's is doing that. Um, so here we go, this is the new traditional Greek gyro or gyro or who knows, I don't know how to say it. I'm not Greek <laughs> from Arby's. Just <laughs> think of it as a Greek taco. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. First of all, what makes it Greekish is the is the um, the spicy in here. The spices. Obviously, they're using Greek spices because it's so Greekish. I don't know. You can have any piece of meat in here, and if you put those spices in here, it'll make it Greek. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wow. Not bad. The pita bread's nice and soft. The lamb is is lamby-ish. Um. It's all that ch ch cheeky or tajiki sauce is saucy and uh, it's a little salty this whole thing i don't know if it's from the lamb let me see yeah a little salty for me um but you get the nice crunchiness of the from the lechuga which is lettuce and japanese tomatoes and red onion gives it a nice crunch so if you like traditional gyros or gyros or hero i don't know i'm not greek you will like this one from Arby's. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So would I get this again? Well, I'm more of a traditional American guy. I like my roast beef from Arby's and stuff, but um, I'm not a big gyro aficionado. I'm not into Greek food. 
So this for me is just like a kind of outside the box, out of my safety zone. So would I buy it again? Probably not, but that's just my opinion. But it doesn't take away from the fact that it's pretty good. I mean, I like this a lot, but I wouldn't, you know, that's just me. It's just me, so you might buy, try this and you go, wow, I'm gonna have another one because you're into Greek food. But I don't understand gyros. I, I, you know, I understand that, you know, it's basically a, a Greek taco with your pita. And so, yeah, so I don't even, I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong. Gyro, gyro, who knows? I'm not Greek. Anyways, <laughs> so get to Arby's, give it a shot. Tell me what you think, put it in the comment section below. Check out my tweets and my twerts and everything in between. And I'm gonna give this Arby's Gyro um, on a scale of one to 10. I'm gonna give this, this is only for me, okay? I'm gonna give this a nice solid 8.5. An 8.5 for the traditional gyro or gyro or hero. I don't know, I'm not Greek. From Arby's. So get there, Arby Square, check it out. You will be a happy camper. Six buckaroos and change. Be there, Arby Square. You'll be a happy camper. Six buckaroos or change. Be there, Arby Square. <laughs> Why am I rambling? Anyways, did I tell you I saw chips? I'm not Greek. Anyways, check out my tweets and my tweets and my Instagram. If you want a Joey's World Tour t-shirt, go to my Spreadshirt shop, which is hard to say. It's like, pork chop snapshot. My Spreadshirt shop, and you'll see the link below, and you get some Joey's World Tour t-shirts. I have some for the ladies. I have some for the kids and for the big and tall jeans and for the normal skinny number two pencils out there. Anyways, check it out if you want a Joey's World Tour t-shirt. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in. This is Joey doing the gyro or the euro or the hero. I don't know, I'm not Greek. From Arby's, thank you for tuning in. This is Joe for Joey's Super Cool Fruit Review Say. Peace. <laughs> I'm not Greek. <laughs>